Hello. Hi, is this Nelson? Yeah. Hey, Nelson, this is Ryan. You responded to the Craigslist ad me and my wife play, uh, placed about we are looking for an Easter bunny, for somebody to play the Easter bunny. Oh, yeah. How you doing tonight? I'm doing well. Okay. Um, just so you know, I have my wife, Jen, on with me. Okay. Hi, Nelson. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Oh, fantastic. All right. Um, so, I mean, pretty simple gig here. I mean, we're probably need you for like two, two and a half hours. Uh, it's going to be for all the neighborhood kids. We kind of have a pretty tight neighborhood um, and, you know, a little association. So that's, you know, a little neighborhood association. So that's why we kind of try to do stuff together to keep it, you know, a little more tight knit. But we had a guy, fortunately, that, you know, the guy, he just had to drop out so he couldn't do it. So basically it pays $400 um, uh, and, you know, it, you'll probably have to wear the costume for about two hours. You know, we can give you a break in between there if you get warm and things like that. Um, and then ultimately, you know, I mean, after after it's all done, you know, we got a ton of food, things like that. You know, you could, you know, once the costume's off, come on out and have some food with us, you know, or if you just want to take off, take the money, that's fine. You know, it's either way, just don't want you to feel like, you know, you're not welcome or anything. So um, it's, are you at all free uh, Sunday? I am. Um, do I have to have my own costume? No, 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 that? no. We have a oh, costume. Okay. Like, yeah, we do this okay. every year. It's just the guy who was going to do it dropped out. So, hey, we can't just yeah. take you know somebody's dad from the neighborhood because then everybody's like, hey, where's so and so's dad? You know. Yeah. So, um, all right. Have you ever done anything? You know, any kind of costume, any mascot stuff? You know, I mean, um, you we're, we're you know we're not going to have you talking so you'll do the whole you know talk with your hands type of thing you know yeah i have not never okay okay that's fine i mean if you're willing to do it you you know job's pretty much yours so not a big deal uh uh shoot my hey um my cell phone's ringing uh just to say i gotta take this hey jen can you go can you go ahead can you talk to nelson for a few minutes oh, yeah. nelson i'm i'm sorry i got i have to take that's this fine. it's my work i'm gonna okay. go on the i'm gonna go in the other room so you just just work the details with him if you could hon okay um so yeah he just went in the other room so what we're looking at is probably um uh somewhere between two and four is when we're planning on having the little get together uh, were you available during this time on sunday yeah okay and um, we'll have some Easter baskets so you can give them out to the children at the party. Um, and then, like he said, we'll have some food. We'll have some adults there. And you can partake in all that, um, you know, after the couple hours is up. And we tell the children that the Easter bunny had to go home. And um, that that's pretty much the, the, the gist of it. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Um, now, are you going to need a ride? Do you have your own transportation? or No, I'll be uh, able to get there. Okay. It's, it's in Los Angeles, right? Right. And okay. um, what I wanted to do, because my husband, um, he's going to be in and out of the party. Um, hang on. What I want to try to do is after we get everyone out of there, um, maybe we go into the bedroom and you keep that bunny suit on and you let me um, let me suck your dick. Wait, what? Yeah, I can give you like an extra twenty five fifty dollars. Um, I will think about that. Okay, because my hus fine? my husband he doesn't like to try new things. He's a he's a prude. Okay. And, and like you know, maybe an extra seventy five if you if you take me doggy style as a bunny. Oh my god, I can't tell you how wet that would make me. Um. Okay, I'll consider it. Because he'll be gone for like four or five hours after the party because he has a business meeting. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm looking good. I mean, I'm five foot six. I have uh, 36 double D breasts. Um, I'm a runner. I jog all the time. Yeah. How old are you guys? Well, he's he's 35. I'm 26. Okay. So I married a little bit older, um, yeah. but he's just all, all concerned with work and you know, I, I got a high uh, sex drive. I'm I'm worried about some dick. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll consider it. But. Okay. Yeah, we can. Like I say, um, he'll be gone, so it's not like you're in. You'll be in danger. 
Um, have you ever done something like this? No. Oh, jeez. You never slept with a married woman before? No. That sounds kind of appealing, though. Yeah. No, it, it'd be it'd be lots of fun. We got a hot tub. I don't know how well the bunny suit would hold up in the hot tub, though. Oh, yeah. So I don't I don't know how how all that would work. Okay. You know, part way through my uh, my tranny uh, surgery, so like uh, I could just tuck the dick back for you, and uh, I think it'd be all right. What are you thinking? What the fuck? Yeah, I'll just tuck it back. You know, extra fifty seventy five dollars. Get some of that butt pussy from that rabbit outfit. What the fuck? What? Is this the same lady? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, you know, I bend over. I'll let you take me from the back. Maybe we switch positions. I put on the rabbit suit. Uh, you know, maybe uh, I take you to Pound Town. You're a dude. Yeah, I'm a dude. Well, I'm, I'm kind of both. I got the tits of a woman and the dick of a man. And you're married. Um, well, it's a partnership right now. Uh, so an extra 50 and 75, you're down, right? I got the tits and a dick. I got the best of both worlds. Not really. What the fuck? Oh, man. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, no, it's going to work. I don't think so. It's going to work. We'll make it work. I'm still a runner. Everything else is correct. I still say I have the 36 double D's, but it's just I've got a, I got a 10 inch cock to accompany it. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. What the fuck? This is not going to work. Come on, just admit you're a little bit gay. Everybody's a little gay. That's what I've noticed, and I am happen. I happen to be one of the ones that's completely straight. You ever finger your <laughs> asshole? What? You ever finger your asshole? Russell, no. Let me show you. Well, no thanks. I've got a hairbrush. What the fuck? Man, you should have just stuck to the fucking bunny shit. What's with this fucking... Oh, my God. All right, so you coming over, what, about one thirty on Sunday? I don't think so, man. I'm, I, don't, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable coming over anymore. Why not? Because of this whole thing right now. Are you kidding me? What? Like, the whole, what the f- are you kidding me? You're a tranny. I made you a respectable offer. I mean, most people jump at it. What, the the whole bunny thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, not the bunny thing, the having sex with me. I'm looking good. Are you kidding me? Would you prefer if I went back to talking like this? I mean, I could do that. Holy shit. That, that's sweet. I mean, no, I mean, I can, I can tuck it back and I could just, I could do the female thing. I can, you know, the tits, they, they look nice and I can just tuck my dick back and, you know, we can, we can play. It's all good. Holy shit. Wait, but wait, is, is the job for the Easter bunny costume? Oh yeah. No, that's a hundred percent. That's a hundred percent real. What the fuck? Wait, but it's it's not a husband and wife. It's just you. See, my husband, he doesn't know. You know, no way. How can he not? We we got married and we didn't we didn't consummate it because uh, he had had some surgeries, and so he has issues having sex right now. So, oh, 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 hang on, hang on. He's, he's coming back. Hang on. I'm going to put him back on the phone. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. All right. Um, Nelson, are you still there? Yeah, I am. Okay. Um, so did she go over most of the details, Jenny? Jen? Jen? Where'd, where'd my... Yeah, no, I went over the most. He said he's 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 wanting the job. He said okay. it sounds good. Okay. Um, all right, great. Um, so is it going to be here at like one thirty? 
Um, he he didn't say. I told him okay. we would need him between one and one thirty to get dressed. Okay. And um, you know what? If he doesn't he doesn't have transportation, so I'm going to take him home afterwards. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. We're very accommodating because you're being very accommodating to us, Nelson. We appreciate this. I mean, so much. We. I mean, we plan this this particular Easter gathering of all, all you know all the families in the neighborhood. We plan this like six months in advance. So, you know, to have somebody drop out really throws a monkey wrench. I mean, it's not like you know somebody's just not bringing the potato salad. You know, it's it's the Easter bunny. That's the whole point of it for the children. So we appreciate it a whole lot. I mean, in the four hundred. I mean, on such a short notice, that's still plenty. Oh, the, the phone's ringing again. I'm gonna go in the other room and grab it real quick. Okay. All right. All right. So the four hundred. That's that's plenty. Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Are you there? Nelson. I oh, hung up. <laughs> I'm gonna call him back. Come on. Hey, this is Nelson. I'm not here right now. I'll have to leave a message. leave a message, and I'll call you back. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press <coughs> one for more options. No one else to talk. Hey, Nelson, it's Ryan again. I'm not sure if your phone went dead or whatnot, so I'll just leave you a message, and then you can just give me a call back at this number. Um, and, hey, uh, let me make sure she's Okay. Hey, um, and, you know, I wasn't I wasn't sure if you were interested or not. I mean, it kind of, you know, I don't know. It sounded like it in your voice, but um, I, for some reason, I, you know, my my wife, I'm just not that attracted to her lately. But, I mean, you sounded like a pretty young, healthy stud. So um, would you be okay, you know, if coming over and, you know, a little early and we can get my wife out of the way, you know, and, and I can suck your dick, you know? Um, you know, I, I mean, I, if, I mean, me and my wife have swung before, so if you want her in the room, I just, I mean, heads up, uh, she she has a really large clit, okay? So just heads up. So, you know, if you could give me a call back, let me know if uh, you'd be down for, you know, coming over at about 1230 and we could do a little menage a trois with my beautiful princess. So, okay? All right, call me back. All right, now he now he has evidence to his friends. Dude, this is fucking crazy. So my wife has a really big clip. Oh, so <laughs> Ten inch clip. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. 